sorry kingdom family i'm wrapping up the video but my video cut off go watch part one to this but yes i was telling you a story about my mom and how he had to give me an assignment when it came to going to Brooklyn um, when she was in ICU the end of last year. And so it wasn't like I wasn't going to go. I was going to go, but I needed to know why I was going. I needed to know the purpose of why I was going because I already knew what I associated Brooklyn with, right? And so during God healing you, there's going to be levels and layers to his healing for you. And so he told me, you're going to go and you're going to pray over her. And I was like, okay. <laughs> all right i'll go and so then i was in agreement and i was happy to go to brooklyn so now i get there i'm in the hospital siblings don't know i didn't even know i didn't find out that she was in the hospital from my siblings but anyway um i go i start praying in tongues because the spirit the holy spirit just overwhelms me my aunt looking at me like what what language were you speaking in? and i was like oh i'm sorry i was praying in tongues that's the heavenly language but she didn't really understand what it was because you know believers but not followers just not really in that relationship yet and that's okay because i always say yet because it's not yet it didn't happen right now for them but it will and so anyway family i pray and it was so beautiful to see how god transformed that whole situation how she was able to open her eyes a little more how she was able to get the tube out of her mouth while we was there in the room chatting and rooting her on and um she just you know she was she was healing she was healing and so when i came back god gave me more revelation about why i had to take that trip and he was like you know just letting me know i extended your mom or i healed your mom through you and basically um it was through the holy spirit you know taking over in that moment i didn't even know that that was going to happen i didn't know that god was going to use me for that moment right for such a time as this i was created hallelujah but he did and family if i have never if i never healed if he never freed me and healed me from the issues that i used to have with my adopted mom my heart wouldn't have been in the right posture. My mind wouldn't have been in the right posture to go and do that assignment of what he called me to do. And I'm happy that there was a level of forgiveness. There was a level of healing and there was a level of freedom so that I was able to go and extend myself, be an extension of God's hand and heart for her and, and help her be delivered from that terminal illness that she was experiencing in that moment. So again, family, all is not lost when it comes to your family who has not said yes to Jesus yet. It's just that it's going to happen in cycles. Eventually, um, he will free you from things and he's he'll tell you to let them go or he will restore it and bring it back, but in a healthier way, in a way that reflects him and his love and his character and his heart for you, okay? So I love y'all family. Be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. Go visit the queen at infinitelyheal.com for any counseling and healing services that I offer because Dr. G will meet you over there. Like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you're new to the royal family. Comment, let us know where you're from so we can welcome you. I thank you, family. Be blessed. It's your freedom season. <laughs>